under the direction of a Mr. William Wrigley Jr. So Gun Mogul, you hear a lot more about this gentleman as it progresses. The length of time it took to construct this building, I mean all of it, top to bottom, inside and out, 14 months. Wow. It's, it's hard to get a city filling a pothole in that length of time, folks. It's an amazing achievement. But one reason this was achieved so quickly was due to the fact we had a crew of 500 men working around the clock, three eight-hour shifts, seven days a week. The cost for the construction of the building, again, for all of it, $2 million. That actually went way over budget. The original projected price for this building was $600,000 for everything, which you know, when you get your bungalow and a bag of chips nowadays, times change quite a bit. <laughs> Pretty much everything you're going to see has been renovated and brought back to its original beauty of uh, 82 years ago. All the tile we're standing on is all the original. Light fixtures above us are all the original. Probably most impressive of all, though, out here in its original state, and probably found in eight <laughs> out of the nine girls that you see surrounding us. These murals were painted by an artist named John Gabriel Beckman. And although he was a young man at the time, already had several theaters to his credit. Without a doubt, the most popular being Roman's Chinese Theater in Hollywood. That was all his work. He also had so, uh, set designs for some great films, too. Maltese Falcon, Casablanca, that was all his work. Now, Mr. Beckman had originally intended for all these murals to be completed in uh, what's known as Catalina Tile. But with the rapidly approaching summer season, and that's the time in which Mr. Wrigley, he wanted this building open for business. Time just ran out for the artist. Forced to paint the murals instead, right onto the concrete. You may have noticed though, above the center ticket booth there, the mermaid panel, Regina Del Mar, meets Queen of the Sea. Although she represents all 116 colors intended for the murals, she's the first in a project by the Island Company that was finished in what was originally intended for all these murals, and that being that tile technique. Matter of fact, more than 50 years away from the island, back in 1986, John Gabriel Beckman returned as a consultant for this project. He was 88 years old at the time, and I'm happy to say he was also here three years after that for her official unveiling. So happy gentleman to see his work come to life, which originally intended it to. Folks, we are just about ready to head around to the backstage door, but quickly I need to make you aware of a few of our rules, very, very simple ones. There's to be no eating, smoking, or drinking while on tour, although bottled water's just fine, just be careful with that. Chewing gum, trying to make it Wrigley's. Oh, so <laughs> also, though, when you go throughout the building, you will notice restrooms, but I have to ask you all to please try, try, and wait until after the tour, at which time you can use facilities outside around to the left of the building. The reason being, our plumbing inside is turned off right now. And there you go. Flipside photography, more than welcome. Flash, video, you got it, use it. Gorgeous building, you want to capture it on film. Also a privately owned building, still owned by the Wrigley family. We're still an active big band ballroom upstairs to this day, as well as an active theater downstairs. And we're going to be going through a lot of little narrow stairways and passageways and things, so it's very important we stick together as a group. We appreciate it as well. And also as we make our way around to the backstage door, if at any time you have any questions whatsoever, maybe about Catalina Island itself, please feel free to ask, and I'll try to answer those questions for you as well. So with that in mind, we're better to start a backstage tour than the backstage door, folks. If you'd like to follow me, please, let's make our way around the back of the